Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss register reference instructions. Now, the first type of instruction that is register reference instruction. In that case, now we are going to discuss all this instruction with respect to the instruction cycle what we have discussed earlier, and we would be writing the corresponding RTL language that is register transfer language for all the instructions which are of type register reference. So let us discuss them in detail. Now as per the instruction cycle what we have discussed earlier in that case register transfer instruction will be executed when the decoded value D7 is 1 I bit that is the 15th bit of instruction register I bit which is 0 so I dash because the value 0 for that we are making it to be I dash and T3 that means at time T3 register reference instruction would be decided but which instruction we would need to decide based on the corresponding bits of IR register 0 to 11 so D7 I dash T3 based on this three values based on this three values it is very clear that it is register reference instruction but which register reference instruction would be decided based on the bit number from IR register 0 to 11 so starting with the first instruction that is CLA now we have designated D7 I dash T3 by means of R so common to all register reference instruction so RB11 what does it mean that R is D7 I dash T3 and B11 is the bit number which is set to 1 rest all bits are 0 so CLA instruction would be executed at time RB11 so what happens at RB11 at RB11 the content of accumulator is set to 0 so the instruction for us is clear AC Similarly, the next instruction is CLE. We had discussed it earlier. CLE means clear E. So, extended accumulator. So, clear E means it will happen at RB10. Means D7, I dash, T3 and bit number 10 is 1. At that time, the content of E is set to 0. The next instruction what we are having is CMA means complement AC. So complement AC will happen at time RB9. So what happens if I complement AC? AC is equals to AC dash. So AC is equals to AC complement. So complement AC. Next we are having is CME. So it happens at time RB8. So at that time what will happen? E is equals to E dash. So complement E. So this is our CME instruction. Next instruction what we are having is CIR stands for circulate write. So in this case circulate accumulator and E flip flop to the right side. So what will happen? It will happen at RB7 and the register transfer corresponding to it is AC equals to shift right AC means our normal logical shift. So shift right AC. So all the bits of accumulator would be shifted to the right side by 1. Then the 15th bit of accumulator would be copied by E. So the bit stored in E is copied to AC 15 means the 15th bit of accumulator and the bit stored in 0 position of accumulator would be copied to E. So it becomes our <coughs> circular shift right. So circulate right accumulator and E. Similarly we are having next instruction that is CIL which will happen at RB6. So what happens at RB6? AC is equals to shift left AC. So first step along with that the E bit would be transferred to accumulators 0 bit. So AC0. So E is transferred to AC0 and the 15th bit of accumulator is copied to E. So this is circulate left AC and E. 
next instruction what we are having is inc very is very simple instruction increment so at rb5 it will happen and ac equals to ac plus 1 will happen so increment ac next instruction is spa means skip next instruction if accumulator is positive which were already all these instructions we have discussed earlier but we are discussing the timing at which this instruction will get executed and along with the register transfer what will happen at the time of execution so spa skip next instruction if ac is positive will happen at time rb4 but over here we need to understand the part how the instruction is skipped how the next instruction is skipped so let us see what happens when if if next instruction is ge getting skipped off so how we can check out whether the accumulator is positive or not so the, whether the accumulator is positive or not would be decided from the 15th bit of accumulator because we are knowing that if the most significant bit is 0 then it is positive so if ac 15 so 15th bit of accumulator is 0 then pc equals to pc plus 1 now this is the very important point to be understood why pc equals to pc plus 1 now we want to skip the next instruction now what pc stores pc stores the address of the next instruction to be executed pc means program counter so program counter stores the address of the next instruction to be executed so if i increment that address by one means the next instruction is skipped off and we are moving on to the instruction after the next instruction so this is how the next instruction is skipped and we can jump to the another instruction. So this is how you can change the control flow of the program using SPA instruction based on some condition. So that is if AC is positive that means if the 15th bit of AC is 0 then you can say that we can skip the next instruction by simply doing pc equals to pc plus 1 so skip if ac is positive next instruction what we are having is sna means it will happen at rb3 and it's now very simple if a 15th bit of ac is 1 then we can say that the accumulator is negative and if accumulator is negative then we need to skip the next instruction which can be performed by incrementing the pc program counter so pc equals to pc plus 1 so skip if ac is negative now next instruction what we are having is s z a means it will happen at rb2 and the meaning of this instruction is skip the next instruction if ac is 0 so how we can decide if ac is 0 means if accumulator is 0 that means all the bits of accumulator are 0 then we need to skip the next instruction so the instruction can be skipped by means of incrementing the program counter so pc equals to pc plus 1 so skip if ac is 0 the next instruction what we are having is SZE means it will happen at RB1 and the meaning of this instruction is if E is 0 what is E our extended accumulator bit so if E is 0 then skip the next instruction means PC equals to PC plus 1 so skip if E is 0 and the last instruction for register reference instruction is HALT HLT it will happen at rb0 means s equals to 0 we need to set that means a very very beginning flip-flop when the computer program execution will start at that time there will be one flip-flop termed as s which is a start flip-flop which we need to set it 0 that means we are instructing the computer that now you need to hold and the program execution is over at this point so this is all about register reference instructions and all these in register reference instructions would be used when we perform assembly language programming.